Welcome viewers, this is Tyler from Lifebird Studios here to bring you another video. Here to bring you Lego hole number 109. And as you guys can tell, I do have uh, three packages I got. Um, all from eBay, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm kind of expecting uh, one package from a different source. And then uh, all the other, I got five uh, items off of eBay. So this might be three of those, might be one, might be two. Uh, but let's just get right into this. Um, as you can see, we got two boxes, and then we got a uh, normal bubble mailer. Um, let's go ahead and open these up. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure what's in most of these, but uh, we will find that out together. And hopefully, it's not too much of a hassle to open these things up. Um, let's see what I got. Uh, yeah. We do have a poly bag in here. Once again, <laughs> has to be really stupid packaging, which is ridiculous. Does not need this much tape and all that for a poly bag. So I apologize in advance um, if this video drags on a little bit. There we go. And even then, look at that, it still creases the top. But we do have a. Uh, a first order Star Destroyer uh, poly bag right here. Uh, very nice. I know uh, that people you know, were finding these at the, uh, the Lego Land um, in Orlando, I'm pretty sure, but I'm um, not going to go there anytime soon, so I decided to pick one up for myself. Uh, a little mad as crease at the top, but it should be able to uh, work around that. Um, and then next up, we do have this one. Which, let's see, I'm going to open this before I try. Um, the address is on the side, so kind of don't want to. I might actually have to open this one off camera. Just because I don't want to mess up anything inside. And uh, the address is on the side that I'm going to open it on. Alright, there we go. So we got that open. Let's see what's inside here now. There we go. That's good. Not how it came though. God damn, can these people have a pack of stuff right? Um, well, it's not too bad, I guess. I mean, I can definitely fix up this corner, put something over it. But I did grab a uh, Lego Star Wars Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle poly bag right here. Uh, same scenario. Uh, people were finding them like at the Lego Lands and all that. Uh, but I'm not going there anytime soon. Uh, they might be a wide release at Target. I've heard from a few places, but I even if that's the case, I mean. It's not like I overpaid. I'm pretty sure I paid like six bucks, six bucks each for these. So you know, it's not like oh, I'm taking a huge loss if I am able to get them at uh, Target, say in a few weeks. I might maybe pick up a few more if anything. Um, then we do have this says, "Please open carefully." Uh, I would think this is a poly bag. Um, not sure which one though. It's probably going to be a promo since I can't really hear anything. Um, I do have two of the promo bags coming in. See, it's, it's boxes like this. I really don't want to cut the poly bag, especially not on camera. That's, I've had that happen one time. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen in haul videos before. Uh, oh, what the hell is it? Not even actually tape. That was a lot easier to open than I thought. Uh, that's actually tape. Let me just cut that open. And that should be uh, go, uh, going. Oh, uh, there we go. So, contents inside. One bubble thing. This is actually really nicely packaged, uh, I gotta say. Um, so here we go. We did grab a uh, Lego Superheroes uh, Jor L poly bag right here. Uh, five pieces. This came out a little while ago. Uh, very nice though. Uh, I was gonna get this in person a few times at Brick World. Um, they were about twelve to seventeen bucks. Uh, but I did grab this one for a good price of I want to say eleven something shipped, so like eleven twenty five. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, like I said, I do have two more uh, poly bags on the way. Uh, that's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to fix up those poly bags a tad bit, um, especially the Kylo Ren's Kamash shell. That one does not look too good. Uh, so I want to thank you guys all for watching. That's it for today's haul. A little bit longer than I thought, but this is the first time I've ever actually kind of done a haul video like this. So I kind of bear with me. And uh, stay tuned for uh, some more videos, guys. I got plenty more to record tonight, and that's basically all. This is Tyler from Lifebrook Studios. Like I said, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and peace out. See you guys later. Bye.